Hello everyone, you're watching Physio Classroom channel and in today's video, I am going to demonstrate a very effective soft tissue manipulation technique that can be utilized by the therapist to successfully relieve tension from the neck muscles. We often have our friends and relatives complaining to us about having uneasiness and discomfort in the upper and lower cervical spine. Now all these problems are because of poor postural habits and overuse of electronic gadgets like mobiles and laptops. Because of working for prolonged periods in abnormal posture, the soft tissues, especially the muscles and the ligaments of the back of the neck, they become adaptively shortened and relatively immobile. And this further leads to development of tension in these muscles leading to pain and discomfort. By utilizing functional soft tissue release techniques, we can successfully improve mobility of these shortened structures and also improve the blood flow thereby relieving the tension and pain arising from these muscles. So let's proceed towards the practical demonstration of the technique. To perform this technique, the patient is made to sit with head and neck in neutral position. Now one hand of the therapist firmly secures and supports the head of the patient in such a manner that the fingers are grasped around the region just above the area that we need to treat. Now for, suppose for example we need to treat the upper cervical spine. In that case the therapist should grab along the occiput and if we want to treat the lower cervical spine that we can grab along the C2, C3 region. Now this hold is often termed as a therapeutic ring as we have secured the head of the patient using the hand of the therapist. Now this particular hold helps in successfully relieving tension in the muscles by offloading the cervical spine structures because the muscles which were continuously engaged in supporting the head are now relieved as the maximum weight of the head of the patient is now borne by the hand of the therapist. Now the other hand forms a wide V grip and comes in contact with the area that needs to be treated. Now utilizing the treatment hand, the therapist pinches along the muscles of the posterior cervical spine and then pulls them medially and posteriorly thereby delivering a transverse stretch. Now while delivering the transverse stretch, the therapist maintains this transverse stretch and then adds a longitudinal stretch by flexing the cervical spine. So now it's like a two dimensional stretch of the soft tissues in which we are delivering a transverse stretch and simultaneously adding a longitudinal stretch. Now if the patient complains of pain or discomfort during delivery of this technique, then we can add little oil or cream so that we can reduce some friction. Now there are a lot of variations which can be added to this technique. We can either treat the structures symmetrically or we can also treat the structures of the one side. So now let's say patient has more pain and discomfort on the right side. In that case what we can do is we will apply a transfer stretch and after that we will flex and side bend and rotate the cervical spine on the opposite side so that we give or deliver more stretch on the affected region. Start using softer hands and as the patient becomes more tolerable to this technique then you can be more vigorous in your stretching maneuvers. After performing this technique you will find the neck muscles becoming more supple and soft which indicates increased blood flow and increased mobility in these structures. You can utilize this technique to relieve soreness which often occurs after a manipulative or mobilization session of the cervical spine. This technique can help the therapist in successfully relieving tension and stiffness of the upper cervical muscles which often result in development of cervicogenic headaches. So next time when your friend, family member or colleague complains to you of having uneasiness, discomfort in the neck muscles, try utilizing this technique and do comment on how was the response of that particular individual after you successfully relieved tension in these muscles. Please do note that this soft tissue manipulation technique should be supplemented along with posture correction exercises and other strengthening and stretching exercises for successful treatment. So see you all in our next video in which we are starting the thoracic spine palpation techniques. Until then keep learning, keep sharing and stay connected.